What people are really thinking about you? In this video, I'm going to help you determine what people are really thinking about you in your life. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Get 10% off your first month in the description below. Jim had a best friend who he admired and looked up to. They used to speak on the phone a lot, always hang out. They were always seen together in public. As he grew older and more mature, Jim noticed something strange about this friend. Jim was always the first to initiate contact. When making plans, Jim was the first there too. Jim also had to travel to his friend, never the other way around. It started to bug him as he was fixating on how this so-called friend behaved. Jim decided to invite his friend to his home to watch some football, chill out and have a beer. His call was screened, text ignored and he never got a response. He tried again a week or so later. The friend said, I'm on my way right now. He never showed up. He made an excuse. He got a flat tire. And that was the realization Jim needed. He told himself, this guy doesn't respect me. He's never put himself out for me. And he never will. Jim never contacted his friend again. Never heard from him either. Their relationship was done. Without insults or a confrontation, or any drama whatsoever, Jim realized he was wasting time with the wrong person. Whilst we obviously cannot read other people's minds, it was clear to see that this friend just thought very low and took advantage of Jim. And he could be selfish towards Jim. Until Jim finally said enough's enough and put his foot down and realized he deserved to be treated so much better. Here are certain ways to determine what other people are really thinking and possibly feeling about yourself. Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comment section below. If a person lies and exaggerates the truth, it could be a manipulation tactic to make you feel jealous, insecure and wound up. For example, they'll say, my relationship's amazing. Meanwhile, you're not in a relationship. They may say, I'm doing so well in my job. I'm making so much money. Meanwhile, the economy is bad and you're doing just enough to get by. They may say, you missed the most incredible event. You should have come. When actually they had a very average time and they want to rub it in your face. What they're thinking is this. How can I make them feel upset and jealous about my life? Everything is a competition to me. I need to show them how much better I am than them and how incredible I am as well. Try and have pity on people who think and act like this. Never take what they say seriously, especially now you know what's going on inside of them when they exaggerate the truth and it triggers you. Have you ever had someone be all over you one moment, shower you with attention and the next minute they disappear off the face of the earth. Most likely you've interacted with an attention seeker, a very insecure person who seeks validation from you and others. I had a friend like this once, so much so for an entire year he'd call me several times a day and always want to hang out. We'd become close, I loved talking to him, we were having fun, it was great banter and entertaining. But what I went on to realise that it was fake and genuine. He was desperate for someone to speak to and he was bored. He thought, I'm going to use him. I'll always call him and he'll take my calls so I feel better about myself. But when I don't need him, I'm going to dump him aside like trash. That's what happened. We don't speak anymore. It's done. He sought attention and validation to make himself feel better. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but the sooner you learn this harsh truth, the less it hurts if it happens to you in the future. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. When a person lacks empathy and sympathy for others, family, partners, whoever, 
They're the most toxic and evil of all. My dad tragically died a few years ago. One person in particular brought it upon themselves to act selfish, disrespectful and unkind. And of course they showed no empathy. As time went on, this person got worse and worse, causing more drama and chaos for the family. I had no choice but to walk away and never interact or have anything to do with them. But others didn't and persisted talking to this person, trying to have a relationship. Then not long ago, after being pushed and pushed by this person, the toxic person said, I don't care about you or what happens to you. You're not my problem. Confirming my thoughts about this individual from the moment my dad died. They flat out said, I don't care. If somebody doesn't have empathy for a tragedy, family, and so on, there's no hope or point wasting your time trying to have a relationship with them. I know you might think you can get through to these people explaining your point, begging and pleading. Don't waste your time. Don't bother. These people have selfish, personal evil agendas. And if you fall into the trap of trying to get attention and understanding from them, you need to think again. The truth is, for whatever reason, they are just haters. They are very disturbed and of course, they're extremely toxic. And frankly, they're not your problem moving forward. Face the facts. They don't care about you and they never will. So do yourself a favor and don't have a relationship. Walk away and move on. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and take that first step to turning your life around with better help. Have you ever noticed certain people know what to say, how to say it, and they always get the sympathy vote? It's because they are the masters at playing the victim, like Colin, for example. He played his company very well, saying he was very stressed and had a lot going on at home. He received a salary by working remotely, when actually he went on several vacations, was out constantly until he got caught and was fired with immediate effect. What these people think is when they play the victim towards you or anyone is I'm going to make you feel sorry for me in order to get you to do whatever I want and I don't have to feel guilty about it. There are those who warrant sympathy and sometimes they are the bravest and kindest people you'll ever meet. But as for these liars, remember they're thinking I'm going to do this to make you do whatever I want and for you to feel sorry for me and to give me attention. When someone flakes last minute, lets you down and doesn't turn up regularly, this is what they think. I have no respect for you. What if I told you that if you went to a specific address in the next 24 hours, that you'd be given 1 million in cash? How fast would you run there? How excited would you be too? That's what genuine people are like. When they're meeting up and socializing with others, they're excited, happy, and on time. But those who flake, turn up late, cause problems, are so badly organized, are just having no respect for others, including yourself. They think they can wait for me. They have to wait for me. I'm the priority. I don't like putting myself out for other people. Why should I? This, of course, is not a very nice realization. However, sadly, it's a cold, hard truth that you must accept and understand 
flaking at last minutes and cancelling and so on, is someone who has no respect for you, especially if it's on a regular basis. If you're getting value from this video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and support my channel by becoming an official member. The link for memberships is in the description below. When a person projects onto you for whatever reason and in whatever way they're thinking this, this is everything I hate about myself, so I'm going to let it all onto you to make myself feel better. I had someone do this to me once. It was one of the most vicious and disgusting personal attacks ever. We were sharing a cab home and then he unloaded his abuse towards me. That is exactly what it was, abuse. I sat there and took it. He kept going and going. Is that everything? I asked. Yes, he said. The taxi stopped at a traffic light. I got out, then got the train home. I couldn't listen to another word. As time went on, I realized this person had serious insecurities and issues. Every insult, comment and harsh word was about himself. He projected at me because of his own problems, which is unacceptable. And I walked away and stayed away as a result. I'm not excusing the vile words that come out of their mouths, but understand that when they project at you, they are thinking, this is going to make me feel better about myself, kicking them down, insulting them, and making them feel so much more inferior. That's how I'm going to feel good. You do not need people like that in your life. Don't excuse it or accept it. Walk away instead.